What's up, C Squad? Y'all, uh, welcome to the Daddy C channel. I'm your host, Trey, aka Daddy C. Um, today, we are getting into something new that I want to bring to you guys, and it's called the Sneaks and Review. Like, we can review, like, kind of what we just came through and then kind of talk about what's coming. But if it's your first time here, do us a quick favor hit that notification bell and sub to the channel. We are growing 3K and above. We are hitting, going to pace for 5K. And um, if you've been here before, thanks for rocking with us. We love the support and what y'all doing, rocking with our content. Content. All right, so with all that out of the way, let's talk about kind of where we are right now. Just passing over the weekend, we just saw the release of the Air Jordan 1 Lucky Green, right? So, of course, this is the era of Air Jordan 1 hype is dead. Everybody's saying this is a clean pair. I mean, it was really a clean pair. It's still out there. Definitely didn't see it sell out across the board. I think it might have actually said sold out on sneakers, but I know smaller sizes and like the really big boat shoe sizes, like the 16s, 17s, 18s were still there. But in the main, like that eight to 11, 12, 13 size, I think those did sell out. But we know we're gonna see more of those on sneakers, restocks and all of that for the next probably few months. Like we saw with like the taxis and some of the other Jordan ones that's been coming out. But again, clean pair, I just think it was bad timing because we got a lot coming down the pike in the month of April and so much more. So much we're going to talk about today. So that's number one. Did y'all copy a pair of the Lucky Greens? Let us know down in the comments. All right, so up next is news of a new, I guess, collab kind of alignment that Nike has made in the sneaker space with the dude named Nigo. So I know Nigo is a popular name. He's a guy that started Bait years and years ago. And of course, they've done all kinds of things like takeoffs of Nikes, you know, the, the Air Force One and the Dunks, uh, just a bunch of different Nike silhouettes. And then I think actually was embroiled in all kinds of lawsuits with Nike. But Nigo left Bait, started his own thing with Human Made that they've been doing through like Japan and all of that. But now he is aligned with Nike. He'll be working with Nike exclusively. Um, he's done some things with uh, Adidas as well. They have a form low that's coming out soon. But aside from that you know i don't know what that's going to mean for nike and what they're going to do together but you know it could be a big deal because i mean he's made some really cool marks again with babe with human made so we'll see what that means for nike maybe some dope releases coming down the pipe one big thing we did see come across the newswire recently was a pair of Air Jordan 13 game-worn breads that Michael Jordan wore. They supposedly tied back to the 1998 finals, game two. They just sold through Sotheby's auction house, it sold at auction for $2.2 million. Hand-signed, game-worn, Michael Jordan. Of course, you know it's gonna go through the roof. The people out there, the big ballers that have that kind of money, they want those collectibles, right? That art, I mean, that's something you put in the display trophy case forever right i mean the goat he played in these and their sign that's dope so 2.2 million i think the previous record before that it was like 1.3 million and i can't remember the actual shoe but yeah i can't remember the actual shoe but that was a big deal then so now 2.2 million y'all y'all rocking like that would you pay 2.2 million dollars for a pair of the goats authentic game worn shoes i mean that's a big piece of history that's a lot of money <laughs> All right, so now let's talk about this week. Because this week right now is like April has been kind of getting off to a slow start, but this week is when it starts to pick up like a full head of steam. So there has been a couple of things happened last week, which was the polls on the sneakers app, right? We all saw or heard about the lost and found poll that they were Nike's kind of hinting at this restock, right? They asked, what if you, if we did a restock, would you keep your mouth closed and not tell anybody or would you spread it and tell everybody in the group chat? Silly little poll, but I think, you know, they're saying definitely they're about to do a restock of the Lost and Found. And a lot of people are thinking that's going to happen this week. Nothing that I've heard that's concrete, but if Nike's doing that, like they're not hitting it that for a reason. So that's, you know, that's a big deal because I know a lot of people out there still need Lost and Found, still want them. I know a lot of people personally just still asking me like, yo, can you help me get a pair? Um, so do you have yours? Are you looking to see if you can maybe double up, triple up if they allow that? Personally, I have mine. I actually got two pair, one from Finish Line, one from Sneakers. And then of course, had a mold issue with the pair that I had. So so um, Nike ended up giving refunds to people that had mold issues. So shout out to them during that process. So I don't know, we'll see what this round looks like and if it does happen. So that's the one thing, Lost and Found's big news. The other poll that they did was also for the upcoming Air Jordan 4 Thunder, right? Asking if people are, if they did an early release, would <laughs> are you team early or would you wait for the, the regular launch? Like who's gonna wait, right? Like you wanna get on those as soon as possible. 
if you get the chance to buy a shoe early, why wouldn't you, right? So, you know, that's kind of how I felt about it. Did you answer those polls? Are y'all, you know, involved in making sure you're doing this? And one thing I heard, like from a tip, make sure you're doing all the polls and all these little interactive things that Sneakers puts on their app, because it's supposedly, I mean, it's no guarantee, but it can help your chances of securing a pair when it's time to put in for something like a draw or waiting for exclusive access, whatever the case may be. Also big, big this week is of course the national international holiday 420. If you don't know what that is, then don't worry about it. It doesn't apply to you, but we've seen some, some big releases coming from, you know, some big brands. So Adidas is doing a 420 special edition campus 80. That's inspired by rolling papers. So it has this outer brown paper shell and you peel that paper off and underneath this a green hairy suede that's inspired of course by but straight up. <laughs> That's what it is, right? Fire by, 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 by greens. And then also on 420, we have from Nike, the Dunk Run the Jewels collab. Man, I'm so excited for those. They have both models, the low and the high dropping on 420. Inspired by, you know, whatever, Run the Jewels, some of their album colors and, and things like that, artwork for some of their graphics. So of course, that's Killer Mike and LP. You know, love that group and would love to get a pair of these kicks. You guys, after any of those, the Adidas ones or the Nike Dunks, I'm more partial to the lows personally. The highs are dope, they're like that bright pink fuchsia-esque, but it's like that hairy kind of furry, you know, thing on that hide on it. So not as big on that. I don't know if I can pull those off just from a, a rocking standpoint, I mean. I guess you could always wear blue jeans or black, but they're a little loud for my taste. But the lows, you're after the lows, the highs, what you like. So shout out to Killer Mike and LP, man, Run the Jewels, and also the Swag Shop. If you're in the Atlanta area, they have that shop that's at the uh, Mercedes-Benz Stadium. I think they have a couple other locations around town, but the barbershop's top-notch, men's grooming, hit them up. All right, so the Run the Jewels, you want to enter skate shop raffles for those. Both pairs of skate shops, there's raffles. You know, most stores are doing two different raffles. So plug in, look for your local skate shops, some online as well. There's gonna be a sneakers draw. So far, I'm only seeing the highs. I'm not seeing the lows for a sneakers draw, which I don't understand. I mean, the draws are gonna be tougher anyway, but you know, the, the lows are the ones that I'm at personally. So, you know, more to come. We'll see if those load up on the sneakers app as well. Phew, it's a lot, man. So also on 422, you've got the Air Jordan 13 Black Flint. So I know this is a pair that a lot of homies that I have looking forward to, they were looking to that black and gray and white, you know, color blocking on that shoe. So um, that's coming out 422 as well. It's gonna be a busy week, busy weekend. Also this week, it's a lot of stuff going on. Also this week we have the Air Jordan 1 Wash Pink releasing on Saturday, 422. So that one, that's more, you know, that's a women's release. I'm looking for that more for the wife, maybe the daughter, but it's that wash pink colored suede all over, you know, the upper of the shoe and white leather. Dope shoe, like really dope. And it's in that family of like the Hyper Royals, Turbo Greens, those guys. So are y'all after those? The wash pinks, they on your radar? All right, we got one more thing we got to talk about before the week is out. This is something that everybody in sneakers has been talking about. We've been kind of flabbergasted by it. Click into this next video. We're going to get right into it. And thanks for hanging out with us today. We will talk to you on the next one. Peace.